I want to spend a few minutes here before we get into our, our meat of, of tonight's show about uh, all the things that we're using. If we're not reviewing, if we're not testing, what are we pulling out? That's, that's the main topic tonight. Right. But before we get there, I want to spend a few minutes with the chat and uh, do a little bit of Ask Troy and Jerry Anything. And we're going to do this weekly, so you can... Uh, Bring your bring your questions if you can't think of them, but rapid fire style questions. Either one of us or both of us, happy to answer whatever you got. It's got to be a six. I'm going with six on that. It's been six my whole life. Thoughts on the tempest. The tempest is badass. Yeah, recommend. For Big sure. recommend on the tempest all day. Bags or whips on the volcano. Hmm. You know, for me, it's bags. Uh, it cooks too quickly for me on the whip because I like to slow it down with the whip. So uh, I stick with the bags. Okay. What about you? I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I, I like both. I like both. I, I feel like when, when I bring out the volcano, it's for bags. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're right. if I'm, I'm going to sit there and use it on my desk, it's going to, it's going to be probably the whip. What beats the Dynavap? <laughs> what beats the Dynavap? It what? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, in its in its lane, there's not much there. You know what I mean? There's stuff like the Anvil and the Donny, and now the Tempest and the the Camouflet. I think there's one more out there. I'm not thinking of, but they're also different. You know what I mean? Like totally different. I mean, not totally different, but you know what I mean, Troy. They're either really big in convection, or you know, all, all these real real differences. Yeah, I mean, there there may be something that can do what the Dynavap does, but. If it's in that same interface, then it says a copycat, and I, I wouldn't want it. I, I think the other similar products, they're, they're not Dynavap replacements. They're Dynavap extensions, if anything, even if they're not Dynavap. You know, like the, the Anvil and things like that, they're, they're, not, they're not Dynavap performance. They're not Dynavap components. And they may adapt to Dynavap components at some level, but... Uh, those are those are completely different vapes with completely different like use cases and intentions in my in my opinion. Yeah, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I mean, look, the Hyperdyne is what I would pull out over any other vap cap and those right now, anyhow. So for me, it's like if I had the Hyperdyne, I already don't. I'm not. That's what I would reach for anyhow. So like for me, that's they did a great job with that vape. I think. Name another vape that uh, you could throw out at at a parade. You know, like if you were at a parade and everybody was smoking weed, the the throwing Dynavat bees. That would be awesome. You know, like, you know, they're 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 cheap, they're durable, they last forever. You, you, they they can pa- they can pa- be passed down through generations if if, if you really wanted them to. They can know? get wet. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, yeah. Okay, that's will a good it, question. I like that. I hope we went the right direction with it. <laughs> will I grow again? <sighs> I don't know. If not, probably not. Probably not. Never at the level that I was doing it before, unless I move somewhere that has cheaper electricity or solar panels or something. So yeah, this is too too costly to do it here. I might I might do it in smaller batches or something. But yeah, not, no no more five by fives. No more multiple tents. No more farming. I am not a farmer. I'm wearing pants tonight. Shorts. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts tonight. I, I pretty much always have pants on here anyhow. Like if I'm streaming, you know, I like walking around the house naked, but not during a stream. Yeah. I I, I did it a couple of weeks ago when it was like crazy hot. I had no choice, dude. It was like, yeah, yeah it was, I might've been shooting, shooting a video with you. I forget. But yeah, I was fucking pantless. Left a really, really weird leg and ass back mark on my chair it was yeah 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 i remember those times and you would turn the camera off to get up so <laughs> yeah uh, can we do some meet and greet meet and greet yeah we can do some meet and greets next time jerry and i are together somewhere i, w- I was putting a call out the other day of people in in, nope. in my area of florida let me know man i think we should get some people together there's we're all just kind of scared to come out in this state and so uh it still rings out, man. If you're from Florida, I want to know. 
see if we can figure out. I've I've always wanted to build a trebuchet. I've built catapults and, and things like that, but uh, I've, I've I've always wanted to build like a real trebuchet. I think that'd be fun. What is what is the difference here? What's the distinction? Well, don't make I don't, I don't know the technical, so I don't want to I don't want to pull something out of my ass and have it not I've never be. Never heard of a trebuchet though. Like I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like like a, a catapult is just like counterweight and a lever. Yeah, you know, like it flings a rock. Okay, but it. But a trebuchet has like a counterweight and then a, a a moving fulcrum or something that like changes the 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 balance point to like really get maximum leverage. I don't know what the, the difference is, but there's the trebuchets are more complicated. Interesting. All right, yeah, that's very curious. I've never heard of this. Me neither. You and I have vape tops before, but I don't know about this. That's interesting. Anything better than the, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the venti. Me too. What do I think about the hybrid? I like it. I think yeah. the hybrid iron's cool. I do too, man. You're going to hear about it a little later. Because it's one yeah. of the ones I still like. Like when we talk about what we have, that's one I have. So, If it's going in your pocket, tiny might. If it needs to be in your pocket, tiny might. But if it's going in your glove box or if you're vaping it around the couch, I would say Solo 3. I'm kind of torn there. I I might just grab the tiny mite all the time at this point. I got to get the solo three back in rotation. I finally got a new stem, so that that's one thing I mentioned or, or I was going to mention tonight is the solo three is not on my list, but it's because I broke a stem and it took no longer. I couldn't use it. You know what I mean? So I'm like fuck, but I was using it before then. So we'll see. The, yeah. the tiny mite too is also you're honeymooning right now with that purple heart one. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll review the Firewood 9. I don't know. I mean, if if, if he wants us to. Yeah, he'd have to get it in my hands first, though. I don't have it. Yeah. So. I think that guy stopped talking to us or something when we said something that we didn't like about his vape, or I don't know what happened. But. I don't remember not liking anything about it. I remember we did the Firewood 4. I had the 3 and 4. And, and we I think the last one we talked four. about was like the 6. Didn't you send me yours? You had two sixes and you sent me one. Was that the one you sent me, the six? That was, I was stoked to get that little thing. Excuse yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah, that was the... Yeah, it was the first one that I didn't like. And then I never heard from him again. This is the, <laughs> this is the squeezy thing, right? Yeah, guys, yeah. I, I don't know anything about the nine or the eight or and only a little bit about the seven, but I'm pretty good earlier than that. But um, nothing but respect for the vapes, man. They're great. They're great vapes. Both. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't want, I want I, one without the other. But I guess yeah. if I had to say, I'm probably more booty than, yeah, but both. Oh, yeah, there's a big difference between Volcano and Extreme Q. Yeah, I think the Extreme, the, the Volcano hybrid, anyhow, those bags are thicker, like clam chowder. The Extreme bags are kind of lighter and tasty. The biggest problem with an Extreme bag for me is that I have to stir the bowl midway uh, while I'm blowing it up, and it takes a long fucking time to blow it up. So Yeah, and it doesn't really blow up if you don't kind of lift the bag up like it, it's easy to make the make the riser completely stop blowing its bag like oh the bag pinched in a certain way and now it didn't blow it like just sat there blowing itself for a minute Lucky yeah, where fucker. does the vapor go Troy? <laughs> <laughs> exactly and i was always a whip with the extreme q and that was my first vape and i loved the thing and i thought i was going to want it for the bags because i really wanted a volcano and instead i just used the vape nonstop. all i mean i'll, I'll whip all whip for that one so I bet Jerry's still using the fogger. Actually, I haven't used it in a minute, only because, um, well, I've got something else that we've been testing that we hope to cover soon. So, um, yeah, I was using it until this latest thing I'm testing came in. And I will, I'm glad you brought that up because I need to get that back in the rotation. I think it was fucking me up. I would, I would love to get my hands on that tornado. There's a tornado. The, the thing from Vistrato? We talked about it in the news last week. Oh, right, that thing. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, man. I'd love to drop that on a bong. There, but it, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if or when. I don't know. They're a little bit reluctant about this. Uh, we 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 actually shared ball vapes with Jurgen. We we talked. I talked to Jurgen about ball vapes when I was in Germany, and then when he was in California, uh, Jerry and I seshed with him, and we brought him some ball vapes, but. But 
dude, his throat was roached. Like the dude couldn't talk. Like he was like, <laughs> you know? So like he hits this ball vape and then he's like coughing out vapor, you know, like, <laughs> and you vapors coming out of his mouth. And then he's like, no, oh, no, it's, it's, it's too rough. It's like, well, no shit. You're fucking throat is you've been drinking acid all day or whatever you've been doing dude uh i don't think so man like um my impression of the european vape scene with the little bit that i got in touch with over there was that when they really want to get fucked up they like their hash and if they're vaping flour they're doing a kind of light vapor low temp and uh when we got to that <laughs> castle dude i finally found a volcano and i was in there and they were hitting that thing at like 350 and doing dozen bags off. I was like, give me that damn thing. And I put it all the way up to 445. And people looked at me like I was fucking nuts. I, I tell that little story just to say that I don't think they see the need for it. <laughs> I don't I don't think they're gonna do that. No. Nah, man. Uh, I know a couple days ago somebody left a comment on my blog that uh their venti just got the error message, but they didn't say if it was like a new one or if it's like one that they've been running since January or whatever. Uh, I know that there's been several hardware updates as well as software updates regarding the error. And according to Jurgen, uh, what he told Jerry and I is that most people don't have any problems whatsoever. So the people that are having problems are still, you know, winning the bad luck lottery basically. It's an illusion yeah. that they're all going bad. Like when, when you do a search and you see three people on Reddit and then there's everybody saying, yeah, mine too. You're getting people that may have had errors from months ago that are from the problematic time. But that, that's the problem with like internet consensus. It isn't a real consensus. You know, it's just the vocal minority that presents itself. So we were, we're never really going to get, unless somebody like Planet of the Vapes sells 100 Ventis this week and then follows up with those same 100 people every week saying, hey, did you Venti air it out? You know, that's the only real data that we would be able to trust or the, the, the something from Stores and Bickle if they were to release and so here's the the serial number graph with where the ventis are airing and where they're not. You know, we can't rely on five people commenting on on, on all their Instagram posts. You know, oh, you're right. And and uh, you know, people who've had like multiple failures, like I mean, multiple, like like how many again did you get? Um, those people probably are using it in a way that probably gets them there like like probably does that and i'm not saying it's their fault the vape shouldn't do it but i'm saying if the vape has a problem and if they're using it a certain way maybe that's doing it but that's so hard to determine from a troubleshooting right. perspective i mean nobody's sitting there watching them use it or anything so it, it's pretty hard there i will say um i was about it was right about two or three weeks ago i asked about it at planet of the vapes and um and the the, the the numbers have definitely gone down i didn't get final numbers but i was asking hey how are we doing on the o4s and they were like oh, a lot less you know like like it has definitely dropped. So, and it'll just keep getting better if they're out there. It'll even keep getting better. So, I, I keep telling people I don't sweat it. Like, if it's fucked up, they're going to replace it. You know what I yep. mean? So, yeah. Uh, favorite manual vape for on the go? I would probably go Dynavab for on the go, but it, it depends on what on the go means. You know, because if I'm really on the go, I don't know if there's any manual vape like like a Dynavab or a Vatman. Uh, I need something battery powered if I'm on the go. So if you're riding your bike and you need something battery powered on that kind of on the go, but if you can, if you can sit down and stop somewhere for a few minutes, then what do you grab? I mean, probably cons it's going to be contextual there okay. uh, on whether I'm vaping frequently or if I just like need to have a bowl. Right. Probably a Dynavap. Probably a Dynavet. But yeah. if it's somewhere, like if I'm going camping, you know, which I don't do, <laughs> <laughs> I might take the Vatman. Or if I'm, if I'm going to go somewhere and meditate, I might, I might take the Vatman. Like I've, I've done that before. But 
yeah, the the Dynavap would probably win. I'll make it easy for you. I love that Hyperdyne. And I and I do. Sometimes I, I grab that and ride shotgun. Like sometimes I don't, and I'll just take an electric vape, but sometimes I'll bring a, uh, that as well. And these days it's uh it's the Hyperdyne. I love that thing, man. We wanted cool. a bigger bowl. They gave it to us. All right. Well, I think that's enough questions. All righty. Sounds good. Oh, let me get one right here because it was one that oh. I just saw this. Babyface, you're asking about the cricket. That's interesting, man. Uh, no, I, I haven't. I haven't used that in a minute. And like I said, it's kind of like because I mean, it seems like I always have some portable dab thing I'm testing lately. Like this year, anyhow, has been a lot of that. So, um, but no, I, in fact, I, I almost picked it up last week. I was like, hmm, I should try that again and check it out. So, it's uh, it's still it's still calling me a little bit. But um, no, I've started using other stuff that I'm testing. Sweet man, thanks. That was fun. I like that. I love questions, man. You guys are dope. Yeah, that was. A- it was fun. Well, we can do that again too. So, uh, if we didn't get your question, sorry, next week. 